Welcome back, everyone. In this lecture, we are discussing what is the Solana blockchain and why is it so awesome? The Solana blockchain was created to alleviate many of the problems of other blockchains. The first blockchain was Bitcoin, then we had Ethereum. And while these blockchains are good and they have functionality, they're very popular, they're not perfect. So Solana was designed to improve upon some of the issues of other blockchains. Solana has been able to reach record levels of speed and transaction volumes. So Solana can handle transactions quickly and with high volume. And Solana is cheaper, there are fewer or lower gas fees on the Solana blockchain. Solana is an open source project, so you can see all of the code for it, and it is high performance. There's extensive documentation, and it is maintained and being developed and improved over time. Solana is scalable, which means it can work as volume increases. So as more and more transactions are being done on the Solana blockchain, Solana can handle the scale. Solana is secure and decentralized, being a blockchain. Solana was designed to improve upon some of the problems of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bitcoin and Ethereum are blockchains without clocks, which means they struggle to scale beyond 15 transactions per second. This is a problem because as you have a lot of transactions, more people starting to use Bitcoin and Ethereum blockchains. If the blockchain is struggling to keep up with that huge volume of transactions, well, then you're going to have longer wait times for transactions to happen, as well as higher gas fees. And if you want to truly have a decentralized payment system that is worldwide, you have to be able to handle high volumes. For example, the Visa centralized payment system requires 65,000 transactions per second to be handled. So if the blockchain can't keep up with that kind of volume, well, then we have a problem. So Solana was designed to address that issue and other issues with a new consensus mechanism. So a consensus mechanism is how your transactions get validated and encrypted and put onto the blockchain. So how transactions are added to the blockchain. Solana uses a new mechanism known as proof of history. This is a consensus mechanism that allows for the potential for high volume and high speeds. So the proof of history mechanism was an innovative new idea, a new proposal that has now been implemented in Solana that was quite innovative and disruptive because whereas Bitcoin and Ethereum, those blockchains struggle with high volume, Solana with its new mechanism doesn't struggle with high volume. So Solana is quite innovative in that sense. Proof of history is a technique for keeping time between computers around the world. Now, there's a lot to go into for proof of history that you can read online. There are different proofs like proof of work, proof of history, and even other proofs. But the proof of history was a very innovative and a great solution for this problem of not being able to handle high volumes in a blockchain. So the result of Solana, thanks to its new mechanism, is that the Solana blockchain is fast. It's bound only by the network bandwidth. So this makes Solana a lot faster than Bitcoin and Ethereum, which still use older types of proofs. The benefits of Solana is that we remove software as a performance bottleneck. So we allow for high speeds, lower gas fees, and we also allow for higher volume. So we can allow more transactions to go through the blockchain and Solana can scale. So Solana can keep up with a lot higher volume, which is what you need if you truly want to have a blockchain that is going to be a worldwide payment system or a worldwide transaction system. Sol is Solana's native token, like ETH is on the Ethereum blockchain or Bitcoin is on the Bitcoin blockchain. Sol is Solana's native token. And it's among the top 15 cryptocurrencies on the charts. So the Sol token is popular and so is the Solana blockchain. More and more developers are using the Solana blockchain. There's also a lot of funding for developers who choose to use the Solana blockchain. The Sol token is passed to nodes in a Solana cluster in exchange for running an on-chain program or validating output, which means this is what you're using to pay your gas fees when you're doing a transaction and you have to pay for the transaction, like when you're adding a program which is like a smart contract to the blockchain, or if you want to do a transfer 
of cryptocurrency or if you want to mint an NFT or buy an NFT. In Solana, a smart contract is called a program or an app. A smart contract is stateless executable code that runs autonomously. So anything that you put on the blockchain as a smart contract will run autonomously, which is why you can trust the blockchain because it's all autonomous. You don't have to trust any person or any middle party for the transaction or for the contract. You can trust that the smart contract which has been put onto the blockchain cannot be changed. It runs its code autonomously. A Solana program interacts with a Solana cluster by sending it transactions with one or more instructions. So a contract or a program in Solana can interact with the blockchain by sending transactions such as mint an NFT or burn a token. There's a lot of support for developers developing for Solana. The number one place to go is Discord for the main Solana technical support group. There is also the Anchor Framework. There's also Discord for that. And the Anchor Framework is a framework for generating Solana projects. Metaplex is the best channel for NFT support. And another Discord is the Governance Discord for if you're building out a Solana project for governance and decentralized autonomous organizations. So there's a lot of developer support out there. Of course, there's Stack Overflow, there's GitHub, all the code is open source, so you can see exactly what's happening, and a lot of developers are interacting everywhere online. Coming up next, we'll discuss some project examples of what you can do with Solana. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.